Uh, record every day, I'm making nobody stop me and fuck with my enemies. You know, we complete, we get in the breach. No, you cannot be a friend of me. Ball hard like I'm Lonzo. See no money with my eyes. Hey guys, welcome to this video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to remove edit delay on console edition. Nintendo Switch, Xbox and PS4 guys. So make sure you stick to the end to find out all the ways to remove edit delay on console guys. And if you want me to make a part 2, make sure you like and subscribe and tell me in the comments make a part 2 guys. So yeah. And also I'm trying to hit 2k subscribers. That would be greatly appreciated if you could just hit that subscribe button. It only takes 1 second of your day. And also hit that like button guys. And also, make sure you use code ZankBills in the Fortnite item shop. Right, let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to remove edit delay on console, PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, guys. Let's get into it. If you guys want to know how to remove edit delay on console, make sure you stay to the end. So first, you go to settings. Make sure you go on here go all the way down to building so make sure you're on game settings go all the way down to building settings make sure confirm edit on release is off because if you turn it on as you can see when you go like that it has a massive delay so it's got a massive keyboard but it has a massive delay like this it don't have a massive delay but it's definitely a delay to when you actually confirm it and guys this is when I do it normally oh, as you can see my edits are way faster when they confirm when you have confirm edit on release on it just goes like this you can't do anything look if I go like that it takes ages like this it might not look like it but a millisecond or whatever how long it takes that is a big difference between your editing and your best editing so yeah let's get into the second step guys so as we move on to the second step, this is a big step to drop your FPS as well, lower your FPS, and also get better edit speeds, guys. But if you obviously if you're a content creator and you need replays, then this doesn't advise to you, but you can also use it when you're playing console cash cups or just doing edit courses for fun. Okay guys, so what you want to do for the second step is you want to go to game again, go all the way down to record replays. Turn these all off. Make sure that if they're on, turn them all off like this, guys. And yeah, that is the second step, guys. So let's get on to the third step. And also, guys, what I forgot to add is to make sure your dead zone is as low as it can get, guys. So you can basically double your edit speed doing that. So your dead zone is very low. But if your controller drifts, make sure you put it high, but as low as you can at the same time. All right, let's move on. Guys, for the third step, this isn't going to be really how to remove edit delay on your console slash Nintendo Switch. Well, that's it is a console, but you know what I mean. This is how to get insanely more fast edits. So faster edits, basically. And this is my sense. You don't have to use this, but you want to use a high sense. You want to use linear instead of expo. But you can use exponential. You can still be fast on exponential, guys. But I'd say linear if you want to be, like really faster editing if you know what I mean faster than exponential you can still be faster you can still be faster editing on exponential never said no but it's just faster on linear because it uses the raw input of your controller let's get on to the next step also guys for the next step we are going to be taking you into an edit course and make sure you are practicing your edits in the edit course it really does help do not go into edit courses that have unnecessary edits because you don't need to learn them. Just learn the edits that you know you c you need in a arena match, console cash corp, creative 1v1, stuff like that. Just practice what you think you need to practice, guys. Right now I'm doing the 1v1 raider edit course. I advise you doing this. Don't do the impossible because that has a lot of unnecessary edits. But if you want to become really good at editing, you can work your way up from easy, medium, hard, very hard, impossible. And this is a great way to get better at editing. Just practice these a lot of the time. And yeah, guys. I hope if you enjoyed this video, you'll subscribe. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And that would be greatly appreciated if you guys could subscribe and like. Also, guys, make sure you comment down below what was your favourite bit in this video. Like, what helped you the most. And yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been me, Next, and I'm out.
پیش